Hey guys, this is DDA Ambassador. I just wanted to go over a couple things that I um, was talking about in the game optimization thread. I wanted to just briefly touch on um, adding binds and CVARs to your unnamed soldier config file. So I'm going to start by going to my EA Games Moha Mainta folder. I have a shortcut set up here. And we're going to go into the configs folder. And there's the unnamed soldier. What you want to do is open it with a text program notepad, wordpad, any kind of text program. Right now I have the newer notepad program, which is really good. If you have the older notepad, use wordpad instead so all the words don't rush off to the right. If you're not um, if you don't already have this set to open with a text program, right click and go to open with and choose a program or you can select it with properties and then make sure this is checked. Always use the selected program to open this kind of file. That way all you have to do is double click your file and it will open with that program. Once you're inside you'll see all of the binds and CVARs for your game. Uh, the binds are basically everything that you have bound to your keyboard and to your mouse, your movement, the way you strafe. Um, you see here I've added a couple binds uh, to say sorry and um, sorry for when I team kill and it's all good for when I get team killed. Nice shot. And then here's some fun taunts that I added for when I'm going at it with K Prime. So you see all you gotta do is pop those in there and all you gotta do is push the button when you're in game and out will come this message. Um, below is the CVARs and this is where you add the codes that are discussed in the game optimization thread. Um, these are ones that we discussed or that um, I talked about. I'll move this one up so you can see it better. Um, one that I didn't have written in there, I'll have to go write this in there. Um, dis display refresh. This changes your default uh, refresh rate from 60 to 75 hertz so your screen will be refreshed will be refreshing a little bit faster. Um, that's always good. Um, if you're if you have an older screen, check your refresh rate so you're not um, setting that too high. But normally, uh, most of the flat screens are at least 75 or um, 75. Okay. Um, to add these settings, all you have to do is. Um, obviously if you don't have these in here just type them in uh, each to a line so go behind one of your settings it doesn't matter where you put it in because when your game boots this file it will alphabetize them so just hit enter behind one of them and type in a code and that's how you add them that's not a code so don't put that in there but you get the idea you just pop them in there and uh, sometimes it doesn't save on the first time sometimes it takes two uh, two times you have to put it in there so what I do um, it would be good to copy them before you close this file out and boot your game so copy them and save and then go boot your game and come back to this file to check to see if they're still in there. If they're not, all you have to do is click paste and you don't have to retype everything again. Uh, normally after putting it in twice it, they stay in there. So 